Okay, um, so we are going to be uh, moving from our game table as it is right now. Uh, actually, sorry, not moving from it. We're going to be adding stuff to it. And before we do that, we've kind of configured or um, considered that these two, this situation right here may not be uh, that cool. We may want to uh, change that and maybe <clears throat> maybe we'll just make this a cliff right here. So this is all a cliff face right here because there's no way. Okay, and here maybe there's a a cliff face right here. You see, you can maybe here you can see. A, let's get a mech out here. You can see a mech possibly standing on this. All right, it's possible he could be there. We'll decide that later. But um, you know, that's even even if we do that, you can see he's just teetering, so it's not exactly. Uh, good place for him to be. He can be up here and here, okay? And here, I suppose, is okay, but being on the slope is a different story. We've had issues with trying to determine that the slopes are actually uh, something viable or not. He should not be allowed to stop on the slope. You're either going to be able to have enough movement to get on top of the hill, or you don't. You stay at the bottom. If you don't have the movement to get up there, you stay at the bottom. That just eliminates the problem with the slope. Unless, of course, the base is big enough to accommodate the figure's teetering uh, because it's just physically the way it's mounted. Actually, this guy may not be properly mounted. Let's try another one. Let's try this Mad Cat. See if he'll stand on. Yeah, see, he can get on the slope. So this guy really needs another base. Let's try another mech. It looks like the round, the round bases are probably better. So... That gives us an example of the situation. All right, so let's uh, take these guys away. And go back to our plotting the demise. We can put palm trees like we're doing now, or we can use other trees. But because of the Ancients uh, game that's going to be designed to follow this futuristic game, we're going to be sticking with these palm trees because we're in the Mediterranean. And also because these trees are easy to do. They're easy to handle. They're not fragile. And I think we might put out this river too, this river as well. You can see that in this case, we're trying to prevent this part of the table from becoming ignored. By putting some cover there, it's possible that it becomes useful. Now remember, we're going to pull these higher elevations away. It's also interesting when you look at the game table with the shadows. The shadows actually provide So you see, let's just pull away these higher elevations and set this up as if it was an Ancients game where these cliff faces go away. Now the thing has a different look. You see how that is? It looks different. Especially now if we put that river in, we can have quite a complex 
situation. That's what I'm doing here is I'm matching up the hexes to come to be more conducive to a, a little bit more space.
And then when we get done here with these rivers, you see how complicated those rivers can be. We're going to change from these multiple pieces, probably, to um, cutting new complete sections. That's the benefit of using these foamies. I can cut this whole thing from a single piece, is in other words what I'm saying. And I can cut this whole piece from a single piece, this whole length. And then I can cut this, and cut this, and cut this. I just have to get the blue foamy material. That way we get away from so many little uh, pieces like this. And that uh, makes it easier to manipulate. So that's not too bad. And now let's imagine we put our little pieces back for the science fiction portion of the game. And it would look like this. That's what it would look like. And then of course the science fiction terrain and other elements would come down. We'd have probably some rocks some of the other decorations, not too bad.